Good, good morning, Sheriff. How you doing? Everything's falling around here this morning. Welcome to WKNI TV. Yeah. And, uh, boy, it's uh, cold outside. Well, you said it was. I don't you, know. I was in here. You until I put my hand on your neck. I was in here, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you said it was. It, it is cold out there, and uh, it's going to get warm again. Yeah, that's what's making people sick. Warm, cold, warm, yeah, cold. Yeah. Well, I've had sinus problems for the past year, and, and uh, mm. finally the doctors are treating the sinuses, and they're, well, you know, it'll go away. No, it don't <laughs> go away. You yeah. know, I go through a box of Kleenex every day. So... <laughs> But uh, how's things going over at the sheriff's office? Going good. Just uh, did you see what I said? Mm -mm. What sheriff's did you say? office. So I didn't even catch it. Yeah, you yeah, did good. See? Well, well you there did you good. Go. I have learned. I if you'd said apartment, I would have caught it. I've got a tape that I go to sleep with at night before I interview. <laughs> yeah. Sheriff's office. Sheriff's <laughs> office. Sheriff's <laughs> office. <laughs> Drill it in. Here you go. So the psychosomatic tapes. Yeah. But. Uh, uh, no bad news coming out of there. I mean, you know, you, you, you've done pretty good so far. Well, for, we, just, we just work. You know, you, <laughs> you, you know. might just make the uh, history books of, of Covington County. Well, maybe. To be reelected a third term. Well. Uh, That's history. It would be. Yeah. You know, I mean, the, uh, it would be the second. I'd be the second one. Oh, will you? Yo, you've been counting. <laughs> well. <laughs> Who's the first? No. Uh, Cliff Meredith, back in the 50s, I think. Really? Mm. He, he, must he, have been he was good a, he was as a you third were. time. He was a third time sheriff. He must be as good as you are. Uh, they say he was a real, uh, real good sheriff and, and a real fine man. Well, you put out a very good product out on the roads. I got to tell you, your men and women <clears> out there are very professional. Uh, you've taken it a step beyond, you know, what it used to be about 10 steps mm -hmm. and uh, those folks out there they're very good they're very I, I like the the uh, professional attitude that they've got uh, in, in your investigators except <laughs> what's his name Teddy yeah you got a whole lot you know Teddy uh, he, he, you know even though he drools and stuff he's just walking <laughs> around and he's like this uh, but, but we love him yeah he's, yeah they uh, you know got to brag on them a little bit they uh, a good group of Good group, group of guys, and uh, d do a real good job for us. Well, and and I got to go look at your jail. I mean, you know, that's that is the sheriff's Achilles heel. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's the last thing a sheriff wants to add on to his his uh, back as yeah. responsibilities, and and uh, there's good reasons. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, you can yeah. never please everybody. It's mm -hmm. bad for politics. It's bad for. Uh, many, many reasons. It's mm -hmm. bad for the government working together as far as the county commissioners and the sheriff's department and things like that because yeah. there's yeah. always something going on. A lot, yeah, there, there, there's a lot goes into uh, the running and the operation of the jail. It's uh, a separate department to me. I mean, it, it's it, totally it, separate. It, it, well, you know, it, it, has its, uh, uh, it has its own budget. Right. So, it, yes, it, it technically it, it is. Uh, so you're overseeing uh, two departments, not just... Right, you know, the right. one. Yeah, you know, we got uh, 23 uh, officers over there. You got some great folks there. over there, too. I, I'm yeah. bragging on them. Uh, I got to say, I'm, I've heard some good reports on Preston. He, uh, lots of folks don't know that he had a health condition here mm -hmm. not long ago, and he was out for a little bit. Man, he bounced back, though. Oh. I mean, I've never seen anybody bounce back like he did. Well, it's part rubber head. Oh, oh, you talking about? <laughs> I love you, Chris. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he, uh, well, you know, one, one reason uh, I think is uh, because he was in such good shape. Yeah. Prior to so he's you know, in for, physically but, good shape. Yes, yes, yes. He yes. Is. So you know when he went in and, and uh, had his surgery, uh, you know he he bounced back. Yeah, pretty quick. Good guy. Can't get any better than that. And, yeah. and uh, when you put him, I, I'll be honest with you, when you first put him over the jail, I shook my head and I said, no, here we go. You know, and, and I have nothing against people that 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 uh, have a lot of, of uh, religion, let's say, mm -hmm. in them. It's needed. I'm, I'm a preacher, mm -hmm. I, you know, but there's a place for it and there's, you know, certain jobs that you got to be real careful with mm -hmm. because you, you get misled sometimes. Mm -hmm. But he is hold, held to a, a, a tight toe on that. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's, he's been very professional. Mm -hmm. Not saying that, you know, God's not professional in jail. It's just that 
he monitors things and he's a, he as you have yeah. has put in appropriate people in the appropriate places yeah. to manage well, it. You know, and, and just it goes back uh, a while ago. You were talking about the professionalism that we've tried to put in, in, into the office. Uh, the you know we we, we try not to uh, take anything personal, but you know we, we just do our job and and uh, you know we're firm when we have to be firm. Right. Uh, and and. Uh, and then just do our job. So he's done a good job of that. Well, I guess the inmates are starving. <coughs> do I know? The inmates are starving. Oh. I have not uh, seen you go by with a meat wagon in a while. Uh, I, I went by early yesterday morning. You went not yet. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The reason I say that, folks, is he comes <laughs> by and he hits yeah. the siren when he yeah. goes by. And I haven't heard that in a couple of weeks. Yeah, I'm going, yeah. them poor boys are starving <laughs> over there. No, I, I actually, I went yesterday, but I, I left early. You, you went out yet? Oh, okay. It's about seven o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you head up to the state, and, and uh, you get great deals on that. You—that's another thing you've brought to the department. I'm bragging on you, so if you don't mind, do you mind? You do. Not going. You do. But uh, you, you brought accountability, okay, to the agency uh, by having the you know uh, being spendthrift on what you you buy and how you do it. I'm not saying the uh, regime for. <coughs> Weren't they, I don't see money laying all over the top of the desk when I walk into your offices. You know what I'm talking oh, about? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. And 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 uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, look. But that was years ago. Okay. And and now uh, the the what do they call it, a swan or something like that? The the inmate money system. That is totally separate, and, and actually, the employees don't have to handle any money now. Okay, it's all done through a, a vending machine or yeah, a box, kiosk machine, kiosk machine. <coughs> and, uh, and there's no more possibilities of, of mishandling the funds. Yeah, yeah, if, if uh, uh, you know, when the inmate comes in, you know, they're arresting, they come in, uh, any monies that they have on them, is you know once it's counted and you know and they're booked in and the inmate signs off on the sheet that yeah okay everything's right that money's immediately dropped. Right. And then when they get out, uh, whatever's they, left. Yeah. What? Well, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. You know if they've got got some uh, you know money's left from where they've ordered commissary or whatever, we actually <clears throat> now you know we don't cut them back a check. We give oh. give them like a debit card. You know, a lot of folks are doing that nowadays. <clears throat> Even businesses are paying people on debit cards now. Well, you know, it, it, it's a lot. It's a lot easier because you know they're not having to uh, go to the bank. Well, well, come across the, the street, you know, because we was cutting the checks. <clears throat> excuse me. You know, across the street. Right. And uh, of course, that, that was having to take time out of uh, out of those folks's uh, day. You know, to, to cut all those checks and. And you know, like I say, then they have to go to the bank, get it cashed, whatever. And if they don't now, have an account, they get charged. Yeah. And so, so now over at the jail, you know, when they're booked out, that's part of the booking out process. They get one of those cards and they swipe it, do whatever they do to put the money on that card, give them the debit card, and they're on their way. So. Well, that's that's pretty good. And uh, like I say, there's a lot of technology. I, I, I'm seeing it happen. Uh, we had some folks in here yesterday. We were talking about, you know, how wonderful the community is and how lucky we are to have the assets that we do in this community mm -hmm. compared to the demographics mm -hmm. uh, that, that's out there. Uh, you know, if, if there's a city this size <coughs> anywhere else for what we have or a county this size, we don't have this, or they don't have this. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, you know, the law enforcement quality, the uh, fire protection quality, the infrastructures that are put in, that's mm -hmm. all due to leadership. Mm -hmm. And you know, we are very lucky this past five years during a recession that we really haven't gotten hit by it because of the foresight mm -hmm. of our mm -hmm. government and our yeah. leaders. You know, I, I was talking to uh, a vendor last night who, who's in town that's doing some stuff for us, and we're, we're redoing some stuff. And uh, and he was in Houston County yesterday, and we actually have some stuff, some more updated stuff than what Houston County has. He's trying to get them on board with some stuff, but. We're actually ahead of Houston County on some on some uh, technology. So that's that's, that's uh, pretty big. That's, 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 that's kind of, both. That's speaking, that's, speaking that's pretty big high Mr. right Mr. Hughes over there, right? Yeah, yeah Andy Hughes. Yeah. yeah, he's. 
he's, <clears throat> you and him, if you put you side by side and put some gray stuff, I think he used men's or uh, just for men's. <laughs> but if you all let y'all's hair go, the same way, you <laughs> yeah. all look a lot alike. Andy's a good guy. He is. He sure is. He's a super guy. He's doing a good job over in Houston County. Well, he's been there for a long time, too. So. Uh, well, we went in the, same time? In, in, in the yeah, uh, two terms ago, in, in the 06 election. Yeah. He's, he's got a fine department over there as well. Again, we're, if Alabama, people get the wrong perspective outside of Alabama if they've never been here. And if they actually come to Covenant County and, and Andalusia and Op and, and Florella uh, and Red Level and River Falls, they're going to see a whole different thing that they would ever have imagined in mm -hmm. their lives. Uh, the people here are just great. But, you know, we have what we have, and that's because of the people that are here. And, and for that, I'm grateful. Uh, it's like I told the folks here yesterday, Santa was sitting where you were, and uh, I got talked to Santa. <laughs> you know what he said? What's that? He grabbed my list and scratched off my BB gun. Uh-oh. Yeah. Uh -huh. He said, I might put my eye out. That might be because you don't have a permit. I do, too. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> but uh, we're very lucky. And, uh, you know, we're, we're talking about how I'm proud to call this home now. I mean, I've always mm -hmm. said that, you know, I'm from Florida, I'm from Orlando and Tampa, and yeah, that was 17 years ago. And I've been here 17 years, mm -hmm. and this is home. Yeah. I've actually been here as long as I lived in Orlando. Yeah. You no know? place like it. No, uh, there isn't. And uh, the folks here are just absolutely great. Yeah. Sheriff, you've got a lot on your plate. It's the holidays. I know we came to talk to you about a couple of things. For, mm -hmm. Oh, before I forget, I'm sorry. How's your wife doing? She's doing good. She will. She's man, doing good. I'll tell you. She, the reason he is what he is, she made him. Absolutely. I'll agree with you on that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll agree with you on yeah. that. She is quite the lady, <clears throat> and uh, you've been very blessed, as I have. Um, you know, it's the woman behind us, that, that uh, mm -hmm. woman, not women. Uh, yeah, yeah. you got to be careful how that comes yeah. out. The woman behind us, well, I can say that <coughs> was a big part of it, too. And, uh, uh, but we're blessed to have them. Now, yeah. with all that being said, one more thing. Grandbabies. Yeah. you got to love them. Yeah, got yeah. five. Uh, wow. Yeah, the oldest one, uh, she went and toured uh, uh, a college Saturday, and uh, she's uh, going up to uh, tour. Troy today. She went down to USA. Troy Saturday, yeah. and she's going to. Uh, uh, you just heard me Troy read today. about USA, didn't you? No, I, I missed it. Oh, okay. I, I meant yeah. to talking. <laughs> oh, okay, but uh, Troy's a great college. Yeah. It is. It is. And uh, I love Troy. I mean, I'm a Florida Gator fan. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, they got took out the first game. And, I mean, you know, when you get five injuries in the first mm -hmm. game, something's terribly wrong yeah. on your first yeah. line. But uh, uh, my second team is Troy. Mm -hmm. And, you know, then I go to Alabama and Auburn and, and things like that. But I love watching Troy football. Yeah. yeah uh, that, that, it, it's, a, it's a good school. And uh, she's going up to tour that day. So we'll, we'll, we'll see. Yeah. Well, we'll, we'll see. She's looking at a I can't at believe she's old enough to go to college. Well, we'll be by the end of the year. <laughs> wow. I yeah, remember you rocking her be, on your she'll knee. Be, she'll be graduating this year. So. Hello, baby. Yeah. 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 Man, you're getting yeah. old. You ain't lying. Yeah. <laughs> Did you notice I haven't called you Chunky yet? Yeah, well. You've lost some weight. I've lost a little bit. Yeah, I got to do that, too. They're yeah. on me big time about that. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> well. Let's talk about the holidays coming up. We've already had Thanksgiving, obviously, if you go out to the retail markets and things. We've, you know, Thanksgiving's coming. And that we've already had it because yeah. they're already advertising for Christmas and yeah. got Christmas stuff out. I never saw I never saw it a turkey. Gets, it gets earlier and earlier. Uh, well, just totally ignore it. Yeah. <laughs> Please. Yeah. I mean, I remember seeing, what are those baskets called, Teresa? The big baskets that's got all the fruit in it, huh? Horn of, horn of plenty. Is that what it is? Corn plenty? Is that what it is? Cornucopias. Cornucopias. Okay. That's the scientific name for it. Oh. It's horn of plenty. <laughs> and I've heard that as well. Yeah. But you don't see those out. You don't see people putting pictures up of turkeys in their windows and pilgrims. No. And, you know. So they go straight from Halloween to, to Christmas. Which and they always it, blocked it, out Halloween. Well, it's, you know, and it, it's just uh, the, uh, it's the retail folks. I mean, they, they've just... Uh, 
the big they, 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 they've turned it they turned it into a, uh, a, a retail spectacle well a lot of the big box stores are not having what they call Black Friday now uh, they're having Black Week or yeah. whatever the week of which mm -hmm. I think is a very smart thing to do uh, because it's it's you know the, not a one-day crush and people get hurt busted in the right. doors. Mm -hmm. uh, I saw somebody uh, post somewhere that uh, Black Friday uh, where people get fight and, and, and scream and holler and get hurt and run over uh, and for that day right after the day of Thanksgiving being grateful for what we already have. Mm -hmm. And, and, and yeah. that made sense, you yeah. know. <laughs> so mm -hmm. Some of the big box stores, yeah. uh, Brooks Hardware and places like that, they're doing <laughs> sales before. Uh, so it makes a, uh, you know things a little easier, mm -hmm. uh, and that's okay, you know, mm -hmm. uh, because Black Fridays to me I, I was scared. I didn't want to drive. I didn't want to go anywhere. Mm -hmm. Certainly didn't want to go to the big box store at, like yeah. early in the morning. I did that one time. I've, I've never done it, man. I, well, I went there to videotape it. Don't plan on doing it. They cracked yeah. that door open, and the <laughs> guy that cracked the door open ended up on the floor laying yeah. over here, and I yeah. was like. Gosh, you know, mm -hmm. and you could, and I, I hid behind the cash register. I went like this with the camera, <laughs> but uh, they get crazy. Yeah. What do we have to say with the folks out there about vehicles and safety and? Well, you, you know, it, it, uh, the, the same thing that, that we try to preach every year. We, you know, we, we preach it all year long, but uh, especially during the uh, during the holidays, you know, you're gonna have a a lot more traffic. Uh, you know, people going and, and, and coming, so. Uh, you know, just slow down. Take your time. Uh, you know, what, whatever you're, you're going to get, I promise you'll be there when you get there. If, if not, they can order it for you. Or it's so, worth you know, having anyway. Yeah, so. yeah. So, you know, j just slow down. Be careful. Uh, be courteous. You, you know, uh, that, that, yeah, that's, that's the big thing. You know, if, if you're if courteous, you, if, you eliminate a lot of the other you, problems. You, that's right. You know, things don't snowball. Right. You know, one thing happens here. And it's going it, it could it could snowball so you know just, just use good common sense well they buy their christmas gifts put them in the trunk and if you put them in the back seat cover them. yeah yeah you, you know that uh yeah uh it, even here uh you know especially when you go out if you go out of town but uh but you know even here yeah uh you know put your stuff try to put it in the trunk or you know somewhere you know out of sight that, that it's not going to be seen if you do have to put it in the back seat, though, yeah, like you say, you know, try to get something, you know, dra drape over it, uh, or, you know, I I if you're shopping, shopping here in town, uh, you know, and uh, you buy a lot at one time, shoot, you know, run home and dump your car, you know, yeah. and unload your car and then, and then come back. You know, Don't it, get it could, save you, some, Just could get, save you some yeah. heartache in the long run. Well, we've heard of several, uh, and this is jumping from one to the other, but we've heard of several uh, home invasions in the area. Mm -hmm. I don't know if any of them well, happened out in the county. Yeah, and, and, and we always have that uh, during the holidays. Uh, you, you know, More prevalent. Yeah. So you know, just uh, I, I would say you know, but make you know, do what you can. You know, lock your doors. Uh, you know, if you leave the house, you know, go ahead and drop your blinds. You know, so people can't see in. Um, uh, you know, contact one of our local. Uh, Security companies. You know, we have security companies here. Uh, also, Kevin Electric, you know, does a security mm -hmm. thing. It, it's it's about a buck a day. Yeah. Uh, you, Thirty you know, bucks a month to to, to have a, a security system. Uh, so you, you know that that's really an all year thing anyway. But you know, it, it's it's not expensive. Uh, so you know, that may be something you know that that uh, you'd want to look into. Um, a lot of scams going on. Oh, there's always scams. Yeah. Always scams. You know, and, and we, we try, you know, that's something we, we try to preach. Never, 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 ever give out any information over the phone unless you call that person, unless you initiated the call. Right. If somebody calls you and they're trying to say something, whatever, never give out, you know, as a matter of fact, I'd, I'd hang up on them. Right. Yeah. Well, electronically and, and, and with technology too, emails, you click on stuff. Oh, yeah. Uh, I had some lady, a friend of ours, ask you, uh, uh, well, let me, the, here's something else we need to talk about. We will cover the, we got plenty of time. I know who you are. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, Facebook, you know, I'm going to go, uh, 
Well, I'm headed to Florida for this weekend. Uh, so <laughs> y'all have fun while mm -hmm. I enjoy the sun rays. Okay. Yeah. Good thing to do? Uh, no. How about, I, I, I'm in Florida. Look at my picture. I'm on the beach. Uh-huh. Well, just leave your door unlocked. At least your window won't be busted out or your door won't be kicked in when you get back. Well, you know, I, it amazes me, okay, yeah. and, and, and I'm not picking on anybody, <laughs> but, you know, they, they got this thing on, on uh, with I'll your I'll give smartphone. you a prime example, but I won't. Well. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I, I know what you're talking about, uh, and I, I, I don't want people to do that. Yeah. I don't do it. Well, mm -hmm. <laughs> I done it, and then it dawned on me not a good thing to do mm -hmm. and and uh you know you've got these places or whatever when you're like over in enterprise or dothan and you'll be traveling around a lot right now hopefully you'll spend money here in the community mm -hmm. and not go to those places but uh people go out to eat they go out and do things well you sit there and you, you take a picture let's say you're eating at olive garden and you're sitting there and you got a great meal in front of you and you mm -hmm. got your wife or girlfriend sitting there and you take that, what is that called, self, selfie? Yeah, yeah. Okay, you take that selfie <laughs> and uh, uh, Olive Garden, Dothan, you know, and it's got a time on there. Well, mm -hmm. let's see, it's an hour and 45 minutes to two hours from yeah. <laughs> Dothan to, you know, here. Yeah. So uh, I think I'll go visit their house. I think they just bought a bunch of computer stuff there and electronics go. for Christmas. There you go. Hey, there you know. There you go. And, yeah, yeah. So. Well, and, and too, you know, you're talking about, you know, uh, after Christmas, uh, like the day after, you know, we get all these uh, <laughs> gifts or whatever. <laughs> Don't set your boxes out by the road for the garbage guy to pick up. You know, bust them up, they fold them inventory. up, put them in, you know, the, the, the dumpster. Don't just leave them sitting out on the sidewalk because that just tells them what you got for Christmas. There was a, a um, show on last year. I can't remember what it was. I wish I could. But they, they had this guy that was a burglar. All right, and he sat there and he said he used to do his shopping uh, uh, list mm -hmm. by going down and driving down through the streets, okay, and seeing what people had in the boxes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And and said, you know, oh, let's see, I'm gonna go. Okay, got that, got that, <laughs> and you know, he, yeah. he'd go down the street and make up his list. Mm -hmm. You know, he didn't have to ask Santa. He'd just wait till Santa delivered and then go pick him up. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. That's. Uh you know, make, make sure, you know, you know, tear the boxes up, bust them up, you know, put them in the dumpster. You know, don't just leave them sitting out by the road. And, and don't get on there and take pictures of the stuff and put on Facebook what you got for Christmas either. Yeah. You know, yeah. the diamond rings and the, you know, necklaces and, and stuff mm -hmm. like that. I saw something a while back and it just blew me away. Somebody took a picture of where they keep their jewelry and stuff on the dresser. They were opening the box up, wow. saying, look what my sweetheart bought me, okay? Ooh. And it's right in front of mm -hmm. the lock box, yeah. okay, on the dresser, in, you know, hello. It goes, it goes back to that common sense stuff. Yeah, but we have become <coughs> very public with our lives mm -hmm. in, in the social media. Yeah. And uh, that helps you guys in law enforcement. It has. <laughs> He's got a big smile. On it has in the past. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, we appreciate them. <laughs> <laughs> they go do something stupid, and they have to tell their friends somewhere on Facebook where they're at and what they're doing. Yeah, and, and, yeah. Uh, makes that search warrant a lot easier. Appreciate you. Yeah. yeah. So their judge, he said he had it in the house. <laughs> that uh, helped in one of your cases here just recently, I understand, too. I believe that Teddy uh, had something come up. Well, I mean, they're, they're all always looking. Well, we're going to take a quick break. One of the main reasons we want to get back with you is a uh, toy program that you're doing for the, the mm -hmm. holidays as well. And I just want to thank you for coming on. I want to thank you seriously. I know I pick on you all the time. You have done a fantastic job these years you've been in office. Thank you. Um, you know, I can't think of replacing you. I really can't. There's some people out there that I like that might, you know, consider it. Mm -hmm. But... To replace you right now, I just don't think that's a possibility. Well, it's I like the, the mayor we have and, and, you know, things like that. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I know you're excited uh, for the new law enforcement official that we're going to be getting here in the city. Uh, hopefully we get somebody that they'll be able to work along with you, alongside you, uh, with your agency as well. We, we hope that as well. I know that's 
that is a a center point for the mayor because we've talked about that, mm -hmm. and uh, so uh, things may change. Maybe. God bless you, sir. We'll be right back with Sheriff Dennis Meeks right here on WKNI TV 25 on Good Morning, Good Things in Covington County. That's right. I had to get that drink in. Good morning and welcome <laughs> back to WKNI TV 25. <coughs> we have the pleasure of having Sheriff Meeks here from uh, Covington County this morning. Uh, we've t covered a whole smorgasbord of things yeah. going on. Uh, and, you know, it, it just don't get no better than what we have. I mean, you know, we've gone over. I, I'm so proud of this community, and I talk about it on here all the time. Mm -hmm. If you watch us, you know that. That you know, it's you got to be positive with the positives that we have. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not going to pull out the the dark curtain and, and say, look what's under here. I don't want to pull. You know, I'm not Toto. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm not going to go pull the curtain back. I want to <laughs> have that mystery of yeah. of the good things and, and pretty things in life. But uh, one of those things is is our. We, we had so much controversy over the years. We've had a lot of uh, uh, issues at the jail. We've had a lot of. Uh, uh, problems, you know, within the Department of Management, and uh, then comes Dennis Meeks, and you know, I think your wife. I still say she had a lot to do <laughs> with this, but uh, I never asked. How's Dad? He's doing good. I saw him the other day, uh, boy. He's yeah. over there at Hardy's getting a biscuit. Yeah, he goes over there regular. Yeah, boy, I'll tell you. He's, yeah. he, how come you're taller than him? Uh, that come from my mother's side of the family. Gosh, I mean, I'm yeah. not calling your dad short. Yeah. Okay, but you are much yeah, taller yeah. than well, he is. Well, that, that side of the family, that, they were, and my mother's side of the family, they were they tall. They were tall. Well, he's a yeah. fine person. I enjoy talking he to is. him. Uh, he's, he's always bubbly. He's got, you know, always something good to say about you. I don't know. Well, you know, come <laughs> I don't on, know man. Why. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he has told me some things, you know, and, and you know, I, I don't want to embarrass you, you know, publicly or anything like that, but... You know, he, he talked about high school with you and, you know, going through grades, you know, all these things that, you know, he was a close dad to you, wasn't he, mm -hmm. during those times? Oh, yeah. And, uh, uh, you know, he, yeah, he yeah. said he wasn't always a law-abiding citizen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know. Should I bring anything out? No, I won't do that. I won't. Well, he, 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 <laughs> I don't you know, want to break the confidence he, of your dad. He's a good man. You learn, you grow up, uh, you know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but uh, we all have them skeletons. But uh, yeah. he, he talks with a glee about you. When he, you know, he's, he's like, that's my boy, you know, and, and he's proud of you. And, uh, you know, I, I, I can see that because of my son and, and you know, where, where mm -hmm. he's been and where he's going now. Uh, you know, it's a dad's thing. Mm -hmm. All right, Christmas is coming. Yep. Ho, ho, ho. You going to be Santa in a way. In a way. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Tell us a little about the program. Well, what it is, uh, uh, we're just working in conjunction. There, there's several agencies. Uh, um, and when I say agencies, you know, different agencies like, like you know, the sheriffs uh, of Alabama, you know, it is an agency. But, but there's about uh, 14 different agencies. Uh, over the state, uh, we're working uh, with the Children's Hospital in Birmingham, and what we're doing, uh, what's today, day's Wednesday? Yes, sir. Uh, two weeks from Friday, uh, we'll be going up uh, to Birmingham. What we're doing, we're, we're uh, asking the people to uh, get toys, bring them to us, uh, and what we're going to do, we're going to take all these toys from over the state up to uh, Birmingham, uh, we, we will actually be meeting at the Bessemer Airport because all the different agencies throughout the state that has helicopters, they're going to be coming in. Uh, we'll be loading the toys on those helicopters and actually flying and landing on top of the, uh, I, think, I think it's the Matt Wayne building, right. which is right, you know, beside the hospital there, and, uh, uh, and delivering those toys uh, for the, the uh kids that uh, are going to be in the hospital, you know, uh, d during Christmas. Uh, the toys will be uh, taken to what they call the Sugar Plum Shop, and it's a, a store inside the hospital, and, uh, and so those toys will be taken there. Then the uh, uh, parents or, or siblings, whoever, um, of the kids that are in the hospital can come down 
and can shop, you yeah. know, for, but, but it's not going to cost them anything. That's they, they basically just pick out, right. you know, stuff. And, uh, uh, you know, and, and, and uh, so that's free of charge to them to, you know, uh, you know, brighten, brighten the kids' uh, Christmas. Now, this is between now and when? Uh, the, the cutoff is going to be tomorrow, two weeks at 5 o'clock, December the 5th. At five o'clock. Okay. No, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. December the fifth at lunch. At lunch. At lunch, uh, is going to be our cutoff, uh, and we'll we'll take what we have collected, and we're going to trailer those over to Houston County to, to the farm center. That's where uh, we're going to meet over there, and uh, of the sheriffs within our southeastern region here, uh, we had a meeting last Thursday. Uh, and it was uh, Covington, Coffeydale, Geneva, Houston, Henry, Barber, Pike County. We we met, and uh, in in the southeastern region, we're taking them to uh, Houston County. They've got two very large trailers over there, right. and we'll, we'll load those trailers up, and then they'll they'll take off and, and go up to Birmingham. They'll truck those up there. Have you ever been to the Children's Hospital? I haven't. This will be the first time. Man, okay. This will be the first you time. Get ready for your heart. Yeah. And okay. Well, and, and what they say, that you know, this is only the uh, second year they've done it. They did it last year. Right. Uh, we were not involved last year. It just didn't. I, I think it was kind of a trial thing, maybe. Right. Uh, and it, it did so well that they really just reached out this year. But, uh, but There's they, a lot of kids. Some people are saying, yeah. well, how many toys can these kids have? <coughs> well, let me ask you this. How many toys can the kids not have? Yeah, yeah. Okay. And, and well, and, and something that I wasn't aware of, because when we had the meeting, I asked one of the representatives from the uh, Children's Hospital, I said, well, what age group are we looking at? And, uh, and they said, from infant to late teens. Yeah. So, you know, I mean, it's... It's a, a range all, all the way up to late teens. These kids, a lot of times, um, they're, I don't want to use the wrong word, but they're from limited income families, mm -hmm. a lot of them, okay? Well, yeah. I'm, uh, you know, not not necessarily no, li limited, but, but I mean, if, if you're in the hospital, the, you know, if you're up there, I mean, that, that, I, that just, it just displaces I, I, everything. Well, you know? where I'm going with limited income is mm -hmm. is that the families are already spending the money to be there. Oh yeah, with them, exactly. Traveling Very there, expensive. okay, yeah, and and having to eat and and and, and do these mm -hmm. things, and you yeah. know it gets yeah. tight, okay, exactly. Yeah. And and uh, these kids may not have a Christmas or a very, I should have said, limited Christmas. Yeah, right. And here's an opportunity for the community to step up. And reach out and help a child. That's right. Okay, that is is. I don't want to go into details on it, but there's there's some kids up there that've been there for a while, mm -hmm. and and they're sick. Yeah. Okay. And like I say, you're in for, you're in for a treat. Okay. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, you know, if you don't shed a tear while you're there, mm -hmm. okay, which I know you will. Okay. Uh, you know, it's just a very emotional visit with those children. Mm -hmm. uh, I can't get enough. I, I I love it. I mean, yeah. there's there's just no no place like going to a children's ward or a children's hospital and mm -hmm. seeing the delight. I mean, if you just walk in there with a piece of bubble gum, if they're allowed to have it, mm -hmm. they get all excited because mm -hmm. it's something. That, you know, they're on medications all day long. They're yeah. seeing nurses and getting poked and 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 stuck with needles and mm -hmm. and uh, they're they're in pain and and uh, you know, to see that face light up. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. just for a second. Yeah, you know. it's, it's a it, it's a good program, and uh, we're we're proud to be uh, a part of that. So you know, we're we're just asking everybody to it? get out. Uh, they can either bring it to the sheriff's office or uh, WAAO. Uh, when we started this last week, uh, you know, they volunteered to be a drop off point. Oh, we'll be glad so, to hear uh, as well. Yeah, uh, here here will be fine. Uh, uh, if somebody has something that they can't bring it or whatever, just call the sheriff's office. Uh, right. You know, get, get, give, them, give us an address, and uh, we'll, we'll be glad to drive out and pick it up. 
be glad to have folks drop it off here. We got plenty Absolutely. of storage room. Appreciate it. Um, in fact, I was thinking while you're saying that, I don't know if you've got any plans, but I'll get with you during the next week or so and see if we can't have an event out here on the square, live on TV, mm -hmm. having people dropping off. That, that, of yeah, that, that, that might be a good thing. Okay, that I'll get with you on thing. that. And, okay. and, uh, we'll see what we can do and, and uh, maybe have uh, an afternoon where we have the you know people drive by, mm -hmm. we advertise it, get it out there, publicize it, mm -hmm. and say bring your toys by. Now they have to be new toys, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, yeah. In packages. Yeah, yeah but but uh, you, you know don't wrap them. Right. Uh, you know don't don't wrap them because they are going to be going down to the uh, sugar plum shop, right. which will be a store area, and that way the people can pick out kind of what they need. So you know uh, just make sure you know they're not wrapped. Okay. But we, we we did have that uh, a call on that, and that was a question that they asked. You know, do we need to wrap it? Right. And we said no wrapping, new new toys. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. If they're in their boxes and stuff like, mm -hmm. leave them in their boxes. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, drop them by here, mm -hmm. Wayo, the sheriff's, sheriff's department, or, or uh, call us and we'll come pick it up. Sheriff's department. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm gonna go and hit you up on sheriff's office. <laughs> Duh. And, uh, anyhow, uh, be, be proud to uh, have that happen here. Mm -hmm. and, and folks, we're here uh, during the day all day as well. So, mm -hmm. Sheriff, any other words that you want to share out there? Well, not uh, just, just remember deadline, December the 5th at noon. Right. Uh, we, 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 uh, that's going to be our cutoff because we, we are going to have to get everything collected and get it trailered to Dothan, uh, get over there and get back because we've got Christmas that night here. That's so. right, yeah. So we, we, we're really going to be, be hustling that afternoon. Hmm? You're going to be in a red outfit riding the back You can't ever tell. Truck? You can't ever tell. I know. I, know. I met Santa. Used, he sat right there. You can't there. ever tell. He sat uh, right there. Yeah, he yeah. Santa. But we're going to be, we're gonna be hustling that afternoon. Right. Uh, other than that, uh, just uh, wish everybody a, a happy Thanksgiving. And folks, stay tuned to uh, WK and I because we're going to get with the sheriff and make some kind of announcement here over the next week or so of having an event here on the square mm -hmm. to where folks can come by and drop off. We'll cover it live on the uh, TV station and, and uh, for a couple hours, maybe at lunchtime or something like mm -hmm. that, we'll get together and figure out a good time. Okay. And, uh, you know, I'm sure people know where the square is. So Can't miss it. That's right. And, uh, <laughs> We'll, we'll, we'll make something special for you all to, to come out and enjoy as well. I've got my mind going here. Okay. But, uh, Sheriff, as always, I really appreciate you coming on, WK and I. I appreciate and sharing it. this with us. Uh, doing a great job. Thank you. And, uh, gosh, I love the holidays. Yeah. But, man, they wear you out before they even get here. They do, yeah. Uh, Holiday season's a busy time. When you find out who stole Thanksgiving... <laughs> Let me yeah, know. There you go. <laughs> what is it? The Grinch stole Christmas. Yeah, yeah. yeah we got to find out who stole who Thanksgiving. Stole Thanksgiving. Yeah. But uh, Chief, thank okay. you. All right. God bless you. Appreciate it, Chief. Big guy. Yeah. Oh, speaking of Chief, before we go, how's David doing? He's doing good. He's doing good. Man, David, I'll tell you what. I've you been keeping him busy the, here lately. Yeah, you guys got the white hair thing going on yeah, over there yeah. between the two of you. Uh, Can't tell when you're walking down with your backs to the hall. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm been keeping him busy here lately, though. Yeah. All right. Well, my friend, I appreciate okay. you. God bless you, folks. Remember uh, the the event <clears throat> coming up. If you have toys that you would like to donate to this cause, feel free to drop them off here at the WKNI Studios at 12 Court Square. You can drop them off at Wayo or you can drop them off at the sheriff's office uh, on, what is that, Hillcrest Drive. Right. And uh, just uh, be proud to, to have you all come along, and we're going to put together an event out here. I think okay. I'll give away sausage yeah. and hot dogs or something. You, you know, and, and uh, uh, the other thing that we really need uh, people to get out and, uh, and, and bring them in because we've only got two weeks. Two weeks, that's it. So come on. You know how y'all do. Y'all pull this stuff together all the time out there. You make it happen for our community. And uh, here we have an opportunity to help children out that would most likely have a um, not-so-great Christmas uh, in a hospital atmosphere in Birmingham. Yeah. So uh, remember, folks, it's all about the kids. It's not about us. But, boy, I tell you what, I, you know, I'd rather give stuff away than, than receive, yeah. you know. But you still can give me money. Okay. <laughs> I'll get back with you on that. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'll see your wife before I see you on that. <laughs> she controls uh, the checkbook. I know that. <laughs> Folks, 
Thanks for watching. This is Good News Covington County right here on WKNI TV 25, your community television station. Remember, keep it real, keep God in it. God bless you. We love you. We'll see you later on this afternoon.